The Cards finished 2010 with a win and will be hoping to start 2011 with one against the same opposition in the form of Happenton Waterlooville. It won't be easy, however, as the home side welcome back club captain Ian Simpemba. Alden wins the header, Hammond will try and get there, and then Hopkins and McDonald collide, and that allows Kean to try and feed Ricky and Anne, and he gallops into the area, could have been taken out by Pierce there almost. Oh, and there's Kean with the header, and Wokinger back on level terms. Joe Kean's second goal in an... the week. Some football from Woking. Kinnanan picks someone out in the box. Holes there, and Woking take the lead after just 47 seconds. Joe McNerney with this free kick. Ins with the header. Craig Falcon bridges in. Adam Doyle wins the header. Cousins with the flick, and Cousins is off after that. Oh, and he's got there, and this could be an excellent chance. Gilroy's there, and Woking have a third. Dover fans are furious. He puts that ball into Elvis Hammond, who goes around Dean Hill. Good chance for Hammond, this is. And he tucks it past Ross Flitney. And Woking go ahead. Can he get the cross in? Yes, he can. Oh, and Andy Marler's there. And Woking are ahead. And the ball now ends up with Elvis Hammond, who plays it into Moses. Andy Marler, who gets the shot in, and that's found the bottom corner. And what a strike that is after just three minutes. Some Woking fans can't watch. But he finds the top corner with an excellent penalty. Sawyer knocking the ball into Hammond, who tries to play it onto Ricketts. Ball flicks out towards Aswood Thomas now. Can he put a cross in? He can. Oh, Elvis Hammond with the touch, and he's put in the back of the net. And Woking have stolen it here with just three minutes to go, surely. What a finish from Elvis Hammond. An excellent first touch and an even better finish. That is a stunning finish. A goal to grace any level. Free kick for Woking, finding Charlie Turnbull. And now it's Craig Falkenbridge. And Woking have got one back. Gilroy looks to run at the defence. And now it's Elvis Hammond. And Woking take the lead. 32 minutes gone. And with the Cards' first real effort of the match. And he gets to the byline. Oh, and his cross ends up in the back of the net somehow. Sets off down this right hand side again and plays the ball into Kieran Murta and Woking have a second. And Ricky and Annie with the challenge, and this could fall kindly to Elvis Hammond. And he hooks it back, and Annie Mara's there, and Woking take the lead. Okay, looking for a second just before half time, and that's an excellent ball into Murta. And he's one on with the goalkeeper, and he lifts it over the top of him, and Woking have a second. And plays the ball into Hammond who takes on Duncan and gets round him and plays it back into Murta and Woking have a third. Joe McNerney with a no-nonsense clearance there. Lolly Palmer will take on Mohabu and get the better of him as well. Oh, and Palmer with the F1, what a goal that is! And Ollie Palmer scores his first goal for Woking with an absolutely stunning strike. The Cards fans and players have gone absolutely crazy with that. It is a strike right out the top draw. Well, what drama. Moses Animola places the ball into the bottom corner. He finds Elvis Hammond, who turns well. Hammond on the run. Oh, and he finds the bottom corner with an excellent strike. And now it's a good ball by Kieran Murta. And Elvis Hammond could be away. And he goes around the last defender, Hammond! goes through to Callum Davies but that's a poor back pass from Davies and Elvis Hammond will block the kick from Winterton and this could fall to Dobson and Woking take the lead too high for Elvis Hammond but Hammond gets back onto the clearance and he could set Craig Dobson away here and he goes round Chris Winterton and surely this is his second it is and he'll knock it into Murta who fires an excellent shine to the bottom corner and that surely ends this one for Woking it's 3-0 now and he plays the ball neatly into Thomas. Oh, and he finds the bottom corner with a first-time strike. Heads it back, and Doyle wins it again. And Kieran Murta gets the better of Ram Mara, and he could set Elvis Hammond away here. Elvis Hammond with the strike, and Woking take the lead after just 14 minutes. Ricketts will win the next header, and Joe Mononi could be in now, and he finds the bottom corner. And suddenly working on the counter here with Moses Adimola, who picks out a lovely ball for Craig Dobson, who's on the run here. Faced up with Ram Marwa, but he goes round to go round him. His shot comes in and Woking have a third. 31 minutes gone and Woking a 3 0 up, and they are in absolute dreamland. He tries to slide the ball through to Murta, and he does. And Woking have the early lead thanks to Kieran Murta. 
Kieran Murta will whip in this corner. And Ollie Palmer's there at the back post and the ball's burned it up in the back of the net. As with Thomas outside him, he manages to find Karanteng, who plays it back to Thomas. Oh, and that's gone in the bottom corner. And Woking have stolen it the death. I don't know who's managed to get the final touch on it. Could be Hammond. Maybe it's an own goal. Olima's on the floor. Woking don't care. They're ecstatic. Murta swings it into the back post. Doyle goes up for it. Could come back to Burgess who will keep it in. Hammond's in there. It could fall to Adi Mola. And Woking take the lead. And we'll play the ball inside to Mark Ricketts. Who seems to be lining up a shot. Oh, and what a shot it is. Mark Ricketts scores from 25 yards to put the cards back in front. And what a goal that is. He's the last person you expect to see score to get Woking back ahead. His first goal of the season, and what a strike. Jay Davies and Burgess himself over it. Oh, and Burgess has found the bottom corner, and Woking have one back. It'll be Andy Burgess to play it into the back post, and Adam Doyle's there, and he finds the bottom corner. Looking for corner as they try and get back into this game. Craig Dobson plays it in. Oh, and it's ended up in the back of the net. That's come back off Lyle Taylor, and Woking go ahead again. Dobson over it. Andrew Burgess will curl it in. Oh, and he's gone straight in and Woking take the lead. The first two have been missed, but Dobson makes no mistake. And now Craig Dobson, who gets the better of Ben Bowditch and plays the ball into Moses Animola. Animola with the shot and Woking take the lead. Start of this second half here. Dobson with a dangerous one in and he could come for James Walker and Woking have a second. Clips the ball over the top as Stephen Robinson. Oh, and Hammond could get in behind Stephen Robinson here. And he flicks it past Jordan into the back of the net. And Woking take the lead. Andy Burgess scored from a similar position against Dartford. And in comes it comes, and it's curling, it's dangerous. Oh, and it could go in the back of the net. Moses Animola boots it in there. Joe McNerney was there. I'm not sure how that's gone in. Taking on his man, getting the cross in. Craig Dobson's there. And Woking are back in it. He's tried to be flicked on by Walker. It's headed clear. Oh! Oh, what a finish that is from Moses Adimola. And Doughty plays the ball into Elvis Hammond here. Hammond with the strike. Woking have a third. And now Andy Burgess. Burgess looks to let one fly. Oh, what a beauty. Yes. Kingfield erupts. Andy Burgess has scored a screamer with eight minutes on the clock. Been a good start for Woking though. Craig Dobson to put this free kick in. Oh, and Elvis Hammond with the volley, and Woking take the lead. And Farnborough wants a penalty. Don't think they're going to get one, though, while Doughty trying to play this ball into the path of Elvis Hammond. Jordan comes, but he's missed it. Hammond with the effort, and Woking are ahead. It's the goal they needed. It's one all on aggregate now. Elvis Hammond can't seem to stop scoring recently, and he's done it again. And Jack King will play the ball back into Hammond, and he's behind the defence here. Oh, and his shot ends up with the path of Dale Pins, and Woking have the lead after just two minutes. What a start that is! Dale Bins cutting inside. Trying to pick out the run of Jack King. And King will find Elvis Hammond. And that's a superb goal from Woking. And Imola keeps it in. Sol making the run as his Hammond. Sol is there. And Woking have a third. And as Cowan Hall flicks that ball behind the defence, Sol is away. Oh, it's deflected. But Sol could get there still, and he does. It's off the post. And over the line. Welcome back, Jez. And King will pick out Gray in the area. And there's Cowan Hall on the rebound. What can Bins do? Gets a cross in. Jack King is there. Doesn't quite come for him. Moses Animola! Jack King will step up and score. And Woking have the lead again. Well, and Ross Adams bundles over Giuseppe Salt. No penalty, says the referee. Here's Animola. Oh, he's out of the line. Hammond's there. And Jack King will step up to take the penalty. And he'll score. King will head it back in, and it could come to Elvis Hammond. Good save, but it's Joe McNerney, and Woking have a second. Very lively on his first start, and he drives that in, and it's saved, but it could come to Andy Mara, and Woking have a third. Now Cowan Hall, looking to run at the defence. Darting around one, playing in Hammond. It's Elvis Hammond, it's four for Woking. Finding Beans. Dale Beans, Wayne Gray, and Woking have a fifth. Tom Bridge don't want to seem to get the ball off Bins and he'll pick out Gray and it's his second goal for Woking not long after his first who picks out a lovely ball for Paris Cowan Hall and he's in and he's lobbed the goalkeeper and Woking a level. In towards 
Giuseppe so and so with the effort and walking out a goal back. And here's Paris Cowan Hall. Oh, what a strike that is. Cowan Hall manages to get the cross in. Beans is in there. Moses Animola. And is that going to be a foul on the goalkeeper? No, and it's going to count. Up steps Jack King to make it three for his season. Dale Bins with the cross, it loops awkwardly, and it could come to Moses Animola! And Woking take the lead after just five minutes! And Elvis Hammond will win the flick on, and Cowan Hall could be in here! It's Paris Cowan Hall! And Woking are ahead again! And it'll be flicked on by Cowan Hall, and Elvis Hammond will give Jason. I'm not sure what Ruiz was doing, because that looked like it was going off, and it's Cowan Hall! Ruiz with the stop, and Jay Davies is there! And Woking have a third! And after getting the second, they've been all over Dover. Gallop forward here. Played into Moses Animola. And what a strike that is. Do well to take that away from him. And plays a lovely ball for Wayne Gray. And he's there out of the goalkeeper. And he rolls it into the empty net. Giuseppe Sol who drives it in. Oh, and it's spilled. And it's Moses Animola. And Woking a back ahead. Animola has his second goal of the game and his sixth goal of the season. Flicked on by Animola. Great run from Hammond. He's away. It's Elvis Hammond for four for Woking. Oh, it's a great save. Davies is in on it. Oh, it's still off the line. Hammond again. Lovely ball from Duncan. Could reach Animola. Into the path of Animola. He didn't quite go with it, but he moves around the defender. Oh, what a goal that is! Moses Animala scores his seventh goal of the season and his fourth goal this week. He is on fire at the moment. Moses Animola, he's crossing to the area looking for Wayne Gray and Gray will get the finishing touch on that. Wells defender, King putting the pressure on. That could come to Animola and now it could come Paris Cowan Hall. Knock it into Sol, lovely flick from Sol back to Cowan Hall and here's Wayne Gray. And Jack King will step up from the penalty spot and he'll score. Oh, he's such a danger. And he plays it into King. And that will end up in the back of the net. Oh, Newton with the ball into Elvis Hammond. And Woking have six. And Sol will try his luck from long range. And that's crept into the back of the net. And Jack King will step up from Woking for the penalty spot. Still bins. Cross comes in, Elvis Hammond is there, and Woking take the lead after 26 minutes. Will try and score his fourth league penalty of the season. He turns neatly, and manages to wiggle his way past two, and play a great ball into Elvis Hammond. And what a finish that is. And drive into the penalty area, it's Moses Animola, oh and it slipped under Lloyd Irish. Second half substitute, come to Karangtank, and now Sol, and Woking have four. Good run from Animola, squirms into the penalty area, crosses it in, and it could come to Karangtang, and Woking have equalised. Skipping inside. Hammond with the ball to Paris, Cowan Hall. Oh, what a delightful chip that is. Who will look for the run of Animola. It's Moses Animola. It's brilliant. Giuseppe Sol with the free kick. Oh, and Alan ends at the back post, and Adam Doyle's there, and then ends, and Woking have four. Jack King with the ball over the top and Wayne Gray could latch onto this and he's into the area, Gray with the effort. Running up McDonald, getting a low cross in, Wayne Gray is there and working out a second. He gets it back off Ricketts and it's Paris Cowan Hall, oh and it's ended up in the back of the net. Paris Cowan Hall with his seventh goal for the cards. With the ball forward and Bur Adam Broomhead leaves that and Paris Cowan Hall finishes for Woking. Bins will find King, and it's Gray with a shot! Trying to feed Bins, who just about manages to get onto it, goes inside Phil Tarkey, and it's Dale Bins! And Woking have the lead after just nine minutes! Dale Bins with his second Woking goal of the season since signing from Farnborough. Jack King has scored every penalty he's taken so far this season. Oh, and that's a poor pass back, can Elvis Hammond capitalise? He can! But the ball spills out wide. Hammond onto it. Ruiz tries to get it off him. It's still Elvis Hammond. Oh, that's delightful. What a finish from Elvis Hammond. He's come on as a substitute and wrap things up for working here. Which Adam Newton will stand over and clip into the area. Adam Doyle! What a header from Adam Doyle. Jay Davies with the ball into Smith. Send Smith pick out someone in the middle. Why great is there and working out the lead. 
looking for the run of Paris, Caron Hall, and Caron Hall could be away here, and Woking have done it again. It's clear, but King will knock it to Andy Muller, who will play the ball into Wayne Gray, and Woking have a second. Oh, and that's a poor ball, and Bins could latch onto this, and it's Dale Bins running at the defence, it's Bins, oh, it's, it's in, it's crept in. Andy Muller with the cross, oh, and it's deflected into the back of the net. This is Andy Muller will fly it in, Alan Ince is up there, and Woking have the lead after just four minutes. And what a header it is from Alan Ince. Andy Muller with the corner, Doyle with the header, and Woking have a second. And Tom Bonner trying to look for Davies, Bonner will give it back to his keeper Wells, but that's an awful kick. And Hammond will look to take advantage, and it's Elvis Hammond, and what a strike that is. Everyone in there, McNerney trying to win the header, Elvis Hammond with the shot, and what a finish that is, and Hammond's done it, well King have an equaliser, thanks to the right boot of Elvis Hammond. The cross into the area, Gray I think there with the header, Ali Mola will miss kick it, but it will come to Elvis Hammond, and Ben Smith is in the middle, and he scored his first goal for Woking, converting Hammond's cross here. And moments after Andy Little almost gifted Farnborough a goal, Woking take the lead. Andy Muller's mishit shot ending up in the path of Hammond. And he found Smith, who scores his first Woking goal.